This video will give you a brief overview of what's new in MeshMixer 3. This release of MeshMixer introduces a new beta feature for multi-material 3D printing. This new tool generates what's being called a complex, which is essentially an object that can have additional interior surfaces. Or in other words, one object that can be broken into multiple objects. To make all this work in MeshMixer, one can create a face group on their object either via a selection or some other operation. Next, click Generate Complex in the Edit menu. At this point, if you have any face groups that are completely bound by another face group, or in this case no face group, you will see the face group regions highlight in orange as you mouse over them. Now, there are two types of interior surfaces that you can generate for a complex. Offsets and fills. Let's look at the offset type first. If I double click inside the face group here, you will see an offset occurs into the object based on the bounds of the face group. You can control the offset amount by selecting the edge of the face group, you'll see the edge turn red, and adjusting the offset distance here in the parameter panel. When I click accept, the object browser shows I have a new complex object. To see the internal surface, I'll just add a transparent shader to reveal the internal surfaces of this complex. Now let's look at the fill type of surface I can create on a complex. I'll just create a quick face group, this time with the stamp tool using this star shape. Now when I create a complex, I can double click on the edge rather than the inside of this face group. And you can see that there is an internal surface generated to close off this face group from the rest of the bunny object. Again, I'll click accept to create the new complex. I can continue to edit this complex with the usual mesh mixer tools, but I'll skip that for now and simply split the complex into its constituent parts. Now, you can see that I have separate objects created here from my complex object. The typical methods for multi-material 3D printing right now is to assign the material to the appropriate shell or piece. In this case, these three pieces can be assigned to be printed in any materials or extruder the printer supports. In this example, I'm working on a ball maze game that I'll print into materials. I make some selections on an object that I can then turn into face groups. Then I use the new complex tools to separate the face groups I created into separate objects. I assigned different materials to these objects to print on the Object Connects 500 we have here at the Pier 9 Autodesk Workshop. For the ball maze, I used white and clear materials that were printed together on the same print bed. Also new to MeshMixer 3 is the Unwrap tool. Unwrap will flatten and lay out your model on a flat plane. This is particularly useful for different fabrication methods such as laser cutting and CNC where the material you're cutting is flat, such as a sheet of aluminum, wood, or fabric. If your object has face groups defined on it, you can have them laid out separately as separate pieces. In tandem with this new feature is the SVG export, which exports these flattened pieces and even 3D geometry to a vector application such as Illustrator, Inkscape, or Autodesk Graphic. MeshMixer 3 has also added functionality for setting the dimensions of your objects from known dimensions in the Units Dimensions tool. This is particularly useful to give real-world scale to any photogrammetry scans you might have coming from 123D Catch, for example. You can be precise by defining pivots on your object first and then defining the distance between those pivots. Just click and drag from one pivot to the other, then enter the known distance you want it to be. You can repeat the process of defining multiple distances and see the combined deviations as you go. For roughly scaling the object, you can also just left click and drag on the object without pre-placing the pivots and define the linear dimensions in the same fashion. There are a bunch of updates to the existing tools in MeshMixer 3 in addition to what I mentioned in this video, so check out the description below in this video for more details on the new additions. Also, be sure to visit 123dapp.com slash meshmixer to download MeshMixer 3.